Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to talk about what are the options that you may have in order to fix your Windows 11 automatic repair. If your computer have this screen all the time, that your PC did not start correctly and keep looping, let's go ahead and try a couple of things and hopefully one of those things can fix the problem. All right, so let me restart the computer. Let's start from the beginning. So when you turn on the computer, first thing you are gonna see is the logo of the manufacturer. Mine is Lenovo, yours could be HP or Dell. And this little circle would go around and says preparing automatic repair, diagnosing your PC. And it brings you to this blue screen that says automatic repair. And you have given two options, restart or advanced option. Now we're gonna talk about first option what we can do and hopefully the first option is going to fix the computer so the first option is let's go to advance go to troubleshoot go to advanced options and we want to uninstall updates all right you may have left the computer on overnight you may have let the computer to do the updates and sometimes the computer would just go to sleep after half an hour. So during that windows, during that time frame of 30 minutes and during the updates and the computer went to sleep and the next time it wakes up, it forgot what to do. Okay, so first option again, I like to try is uninstall updates. Click on uninstall updates. Click on the first option that says uninstall latest quality updates. And my user is named Steve. Your user is going to be your name or the laptop's name. So click on that. And here it's going to ask for a password. The password that you sign into the computer. The password that you use to log into your Windows computer. Please put the password in. Once you have put the password in, go ahead and click continue. For my case, I do not have a password. My computer does not require a password, so I'm just going to leave it blank because no password. My case is blank and I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to ask you uninstall latest quality updates. If you're running into problems since installing the latest quality updates, uninstalling might fix them. This will not affect your personal file, apps or settings. Click on uninstall quality update and it's going to do uninstall latest quality updates. Let's just go ahead and wait a little bit and hopefully you do not have this error message as I do. Hopefully your uninstall latest quality update will be say completed successfully or finished uninstalling updates or reverse was successfully whatever the positive word that came out and hopefully that first option this option here would able to restart their computer but for my case it says we ran into a problem and we're not able to uninstall the latest quality update of windows so i'm having a bad luck on this option one so the only thing i have is close it so i know that first option not going to work for me so let's go to option number two if you're in the same boat click on option number two by going to troubleshoot. If the first option that you did was successfully completed, all I'm asking is to smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna show appreciation to my work and support the channel, please click on YouTube Super Thanks. The YouTube Super Thanks allow you to donate some money and support my hard work and show me your appreciation. All right, here comes the option number two. Click on advanced option. And we are going to do a system restore. All right, click on system restore. That window would pop up. For my case, the computer had a system restore. How do I know? Because this thing shows up without the red X on it. Okay, if your thing shows up, restore system files and settings, has a red X on it that says, uh-uh, 
there's no restore point that I can re revert to like right now it's asking for September 16 2023 I had a restore point it tried to install Windows modular installer and that was the restore point that was given okay so if that installer point was given then I'm just going to click next to what the date that was available your date might be different according to the time and date that you got stuck all right and you want to restore to that date you can restore to the earliest one which is 1048 a.m. or you can restore to 1045 a.m. I'm just going to choose the latest one the 1048 a.m. for my case and click next and then click finish once started system restore cannot be interrupt interrupted do you want to continue yes i want to continue system restore can be undone after it has completed da 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 just read the thing because i need to do a system restore what that means is restoring the computer back to september 16 at 10 48 a.m so it's restoring the file restoring the windows update restoring whatever was corrupted back to the time that it was on the uh, September 16 now for those of you who click on option number two and click on system restore and you have that little red X that says uh -uh, there's no restore point then you are left with option number three okay I'll explain to you when it comes to option number three but right now I just have to wait until that restore completed and move on to the option three okay so just bear with me it's running the restore point and uh, hopefully it's going to be fast because we need to jump to option three and walk you through the entire process and again if you first option by uninstalling the updates was not completed then you can try option two by restoring the entire system and if option number two was able to resolve your problem Please smash the like button for me and subscribe to the channel okay and if you want to show appreciation you feel free to uh, click on YouTube super thanks which is allow you to donate uh, to support the channel and support my work all right so I'm just gonna keep quiet for a little bit until that restore files completed and if for those of you who not able to do the first and the second you might want to fast forward where I'm going to talk about the third options
All right, it says finalizing file restore. We'll see if it works on the option two. Second option, hopefully it does. If not, then um, then we'll talk about option number three. All right, so it says system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored back to September 16, 2023 at 1048. Your document has not been affected. Click restart button to restart the computer. So I can click restart and hopefully the computer fixes um, that startup repair. All right, so the computer actually lied to us. It did not fix the problem all right and if you I mean like if you think a computer doesn't lie the computer always lie <laughs> just kidding all right so anyway um, option two fail right it says completed successfully but then um, but then um, yeah and it did not so I guess um, we're gonna try option number three so let's click on advanced option sorry I got distracted on a text message uh, click on troubleshoot and click on advanced option so this is the third and final options that we can do is to do um, oops what did I trying to do sorry distracted again and back to the point here where instead of clicking advanced option you might want to click on reset this PC alright so this is the third option that I'm going to talk about uh, option, op option number three is to reset the computer uh, back to factory settings uh, they have two choices one is to keep my files all right one is to remove everything uh, obviously if you click on remove everything it's going to wipe your personal data like your documents picture music file settings software whatever that is on it will be going to wipe clean remove everything okay the first option here says keep my files remove apps and settings but keep your personal files so I want to click on the first one because I'm keeping my stuff, okay? I'm, I want my stuff to be kept. Um, but of course, some of the programs, you may have to re-download and reinstall them. But at least the data, like pictures, documents, it will try to keep it for you. Select the user. Steve is the name and that is the admin account. So click on Steve and type in the password, the password that you log in, okay? You use the password that you always signed into it type it in and click continue for those of you who doesn't have a password you just click continue because there's no password you don't have to put anything click continue and the computer will say do you want to do the cloud download install or you want to do the local install right now I do not have internet here I'm just gonna click local install but if you have internet you might want to click that uh, which may take longer time because it's gonna find the latest and the greatest of the internet but local install would be a lot quicker and faster okay so here it will say are you are you ready to reset this device this can be undone make sure your device is plugged in which i am plugged in and this may take a while resetting would change the settings back to their own defaults Keep personal files, reinstall Windows from the device, remove all apps and programs that did not come with this PC. Make sure you understand and read them and click reset. Okay, so the computer is going to do the reset thing, uh, resetting this PC at 1%. This may take about, I don't know, a good 15-20 minutes. And I won't last the video, I mean, um, there's no sense for me to film the video for 10-15-20 uh, minutes. The reset should be... You know uh, you do it yourself but this is the last option uh, option the third option for you to um, fix this problem and if you still have this problem maybe you want to bring it to your local computer repair shop or maybe um, ask somebody that that technically can physically look into the computer there might be something else is wrong with the hard drive um, that might causing the blue screen all right again thanks for watching until next time um, bye now